Without any doubt, crime has been falling in East Sussex over the last two to three years, significantly, and the best performer in the South East. But that's not important. What is important is how safe people feel. And it's what we can do through our model of neighbourhood policing to actually educate and work with the community to listen to what their priorities are and then to devise solutions to address that and tackle it. I would say PCS was on the beat made communities feel safer. I mean, you just have to go about and uh, ask the residents and they will tell you all about it. I mean, Safer Hessens Partnership, we work very closely to them, the housing and uh, other agencies, the youth agencies. Yes, there is more to be done, but it, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there one day. In my neighbourhood, I feel very safe. Um, it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of a cul-de-sac, so yeah, and I feel quite safe in that area. Neighbourhood Watch works within the community because the community helps itself. Neighbours look out for each other and help each other. I have turned up in the past with co colleagues from Trading Standards, all part of this partnership working, and as soon as Trading Standards become involved, asking questions, this puts off the trickster and they go somewhere else. Um, so there's an awful lot that residents can do, and as I say, it's all part of Neighbourhood Watch, not only looking after ourselves, because that can be selfish, but vulnerable elderly residents. Personally, I've never had any problems, so I've never felt that it wasn't safe. And as far as I know, it's just the same. I go home, I live alone, I've got no worries. I think it's safe. I mean, it's, there's community spirit with within the environment. I mean, you can walk about during the day. I mean, there's a lot of, you hear on the news about um, deaths and stuff like that, attacks and, but I mean, I think in a whole, it seems to be a, quite a nice place to be. Down here, you don't see that many youths out on the streets drinking and doing drugs and that. But if you go to London, you probably, you could probably see a lot more people drinking and that out on the streets. And you basically find them selling the drugs on the yeah. streets, whereas <laughs> here you don't find that. Every area that uh, we cover, you have your locals that you go and visit, talk to them, you know, over a cup of tea and all that, and they give you more info. Most people do, do call us by our first name, which is fantastic. If people see graffiti, criminal damage in the area, it can affect the way they feel about the area they live in. It can make them maybe feel unsafe. So what we're trying to do is improve the area to make it a safer place and happier for them to live in. Normally with graffiti on this scale, the Clean Green team will get the report in through their help desk line and they should really respond to it within 48 hours. In relation to graffiti, it's something which we would call a signal crime. So it might impact on the feeling of people living or visiting that community. So it's very important, again, that we can work in partnership to actually clean those areas up, to make it feel good for people. I like graffiti because I like... I do art, so it's like, I like that sort of stuff, but I see where it goes bad in some ways as well, because like, you go do it on people's property and then they have to paint over it and waste money on it. It is important, obviously, to remove graffiti or anything that comes in as soon as possible. Obviously, we don't want the community feeling let down by us leaving it up there for a couple of weeks, so it is important to us to remove it as soon as possible, hopefully within 48 hours. I was at a recent a public meeting, a street meeting, one of the products which we were involved in in terms of neighbourhood policing, and I asked the question, how many burglaries of a people's homes had occurred in the last 24 hours in East Sussex? The range of, of numbers was just incredible. 40, 50, 60. The reality, two burglaries across the whole of the county of East Sussex in the preceding 24 hours. Well, it's certainly the safest place I've ever lived and um, I think it's always relative and um, when, you, when you do see something happening then it obviously does shock you, um, particularly if you live in a very safe place. Sometimes when you see something it's perhaps more shocking than when you live in an unsafe place. We still have issues that we need to deal with but I think the quality of life here is, um, is almost second to none in this country and uh, uh, I think it's a fantastic county.